flight boss, bitch. You know, for sure. You're not listening to the mind of an Terry's Moon. I am the Royal Archangel Uriel, and I'm here to carry God duties and motherfucking responsibilities. And this video right here is for all my Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Ascendants, and possible Jupiters. Um, preparing all y'all for the Mercury retrograde in your sextile sign, 60 degree angle, in Taurus, starting at Taurus season, April 21st. Now, everybody got a theme, but through the filtering system, before we get to that, this is going to be if you're a Pisces sun sign, filtering through your actions, how you see things, and how other people view you. How does how you're going to experience this energy? If you're a Pisces moon, it's going to be we'll put you in a fight or flight mode. You know what I'm saying? Your reactions and responses. You know what I'm saying? Your emotional state. So basically, what would you attract? And we'll be forced to decide if you feel comfortable with it or not via the reaction response to that person, place, or thing you attract. Pardon me. Ascendant. If you're a Pisces ascendant. It's going to be through the filtering system of what you may experience in your personal life via experiencing, dealing with people you personally know, or traits you may develop with your personal life once this is all said and done. After the shadow period and boom, it hit April 21st and it's in retrograde. So, you know, what you may experience... In your personal life via experiences dealing with people you personally know or traits you may develop. Now, your theme is this, Pisces. Looking back, because everybody got to look back, because Mercury retrograde. Looking back for connections you are able to share your dreams with. Now, since Mercury is in your sixth house sign, just the way you are can create a lot of opportunities. All opportunities ain't good. It could be a recipe to the disaster. But you're going to be creating opportunities where you, there are going to be conversations or communications had that's more stable, secure, practical, and make more sense now based on things that once upon a time didn't make sense. And it was a figment in a la-la land cloud, and it was just a dream at one once a time, and it was just a feeling and an emotion. So whether you're looking at your current situation and comparing it and contrasting it with previous things to adjust the, the new or current situation to be better, or you're trying to... Remix a previous circumstance with reciprocation or reci reciprocity. Reciprocity. Now, for the most part, here's the thing: when it comes to um, going for your love language, it's in your square sign and a negative one also because it doesn't even share the same planet. Um, so it's Mercury, your debilitated energy, and it's in Venus, which is Gemini. So when you go for your love language, you may have to learn to get through frustration and things that you may necessarily know that you're supposed to do anyway. You may need to learn how to do more communicating, mutable air, mutable, being mutable and being able to adapt to your own and other people way of thinking and communicating and things of that nature in order for your love matters via people, places or things to go much more in your favor in some way, shape or form. We're compromising and doing things in moderation is much more in the possessions of things that give you bliss or pleasure. Right. Via people, places and things. So you may need to learn how to do that, because when you naturally go for your energies of already being a Pisces, you may have to feel or see the representations of this dream that you have already manifested to yourself first in order for you to be open up for you to start communicating. And therefore, that might be the wrong way of going about it. And you might meet, boom, the 90 degree angle frustration uh, during this particular time. So you may need to learn how to communicate, even if it's you're communicating with people, places and things and sharing ideas or trying to analyze with things or people or places that's totally opposite or uh, to the dream that you imagine or how you was to go about it. And therefore, your love matters, love matters to be much more sufficient. Now, when it comes to going for your passions, motivation and your desires, so it don't lead into anger or aggression or manipulation or alternative motives or negative intent or destruction or self-sabotaging, a.k.a. what you love, the very same thing that you love, Venus, could be the same, very same thing that destroy you, Mars. Now, it's in Cancer, so it's in your trine sign. So, for the most part, to develop all those energies so they can run through much more smoothly, you may have to utilize your mutable energy and, a little, and be a little bit more cardinal. Initiate. Be more of a leader in that energy that you're mutable of. So, take your mutable water. Be immutable of being able to adapt to your own and other people's ways of dealing with the emotions and feelings in, in order to create an objective concept from what this creative, subjective circumstance was directed towards as far as your own and other people's goals. And make, be more of a leader in that energy. Initiate. Whether you feel vulnerable or not. Because you haven't obsessed and absorbed everything around the room and chameleon wise yet. No. Take that cloud and initiate whether you fully feel the courage or not yet. So you can make the room and the environment the vibe that you was mutable once. And initiate it and may everything be your mutable version of it. And therefore you become the whole thing and everyone will mimic that. 
And now you're forcing things to be on your end instead of sitting around dreaming and waiting and praying for it. And when, and when you do that, you automatically know how the energy is resorbed because it's in water. You're just doing it in a cardinal way with your mutable energy. So the way that the private circumstance or the domestic issue or the emotional connection in a more genuine way going to be acted on is going to um, you're, you're going to take your mutable energy and do it in a more cardinal way. And all your mutable of already Pisces energy is going to be played out in a much more sufficient manner when it wasn't normally played out. So you're getting help as long as you take the help of Mars and Cancer. Be a more initiated. It it'll play out more in your favor if you actually do it. Jupiter, it's in your fatal attraction sign, so it's really not bumping heads until you actually experience the world and you want to experience, and you want to get out of mundane, bored experiences, whether you're taking yourself into a negative or positive one or not. All of these, overall, objectively, is going to be positive because you actually know what to do and what not to do in your next role. If you don't die or end up in an accident or anything in that nature, you know that, or in jail. Something that you got to think longer than you wanted to think after you already went through the experience that taught you enough. That this, the experience was enough. You know what I'm saying? Now, for the most part, here's the thing. When it comes to Jupiter, you just have to be more initiative when it comes to cardinal fire energy when you're using it with your energy you have already, mutable water. So being mutable and being able to adapt to your own and other people's ways of dealing with the emotions and feelings and reciprocating that, that dream in a cardinal fire way. And initiating and creating new ways of how to see and feel about these things. So you might have to get out of certain grudges. Or you may have to get out of certain excitements. And look at things the way they are. So you can actually fully be light enough to actually start bringing something new here. When it comes to initiating and creating new ways of how to see and feel about this world. And therefore, the world that this is in is your experiences. And therefore, that's dealing with creativity, passions, motivations, desires, or your sexual energies that it needs to be directed in. For it to play out sufficiently when you start to utilize your mutable water in that cardinal fire way. Therefore, your experiences will play out much more sufficiently when, when it's time for you to experience your passions, motivations, desires, sexual energy, uh, or your goals um, being met within your experiences. It'll be much more into your favor which are when you use it in a mutable water way in that aspect. And then Saturn is in your sign. So you are already a walking version of this. So you have to make sure that you don't become too lazy or procrastinating on things that's already in your psyche that you know you need to do. And you're already going to feel this courage and energy that you know you need to do it, regardless of how scared or vulnerable or nervous you may feel to do it. You know if you don't do it now, God going to close that window gate, and you know that you're going to have to laugh somewhere, land in that bed that you made that you know you didn't necessarily want, but your ego made you think that it's better to take that one. So be careful and put yourself in your own shame. So be careful of that too. And it's, so, But the more you be yourself, and if you're the higher octave Pisces, you could be the example for us. If you're the lower octave icy Pisces, you also could be the... Uh, Example for us, just what we don't need to be doing. But make sure you're on a higher octave so you create better current events in your life. Ride the current, not get washed up under it. Now, for the most part, the more you see reality and gain structure in your life in your way that you already are, right? Start to act on things now. Don't just leave it in the dream world. Saturn is actually going to help you ground that light into material form down here via a person, place, or thing, circumstance, or even something to benefit for yourself, even mentally and emotionally. And Therefore, that's preparing all you guys for the Mercury retrograde um, in Taurus starting April 21st um, for all signs and last off with Pisces.